Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and in this video I am going to review a new note taking app and the name of the app is Flexil. So let's open it. So guys this app before it was only available for Apple ecosystem but now it is also available for Android and you can download it from the Play Store. So when we open the app on the right hand side you see all the folders okay so I create the folders according to the subjects okay and then you can also create the subfolders for example in this folder I create these three subfolders so you can also use them. So how to create the folder there is a plus icon over here just uh, select this one and the very first option is new folder option just select it so once you select it it will ask you uh, to give it a name so you can give it a name uh, according to your uh, subjects or according to your semester for example I give it a name of math and then you can select any color for example I select this color and then press done and again done so you can see over here the folder has been created now and inside this folder you can create again a subfolder using the same method so if we uh, see on the left side over here so the first option is search option so you can just type the name uh, of the notes that you want to search so it will show you the uh, notes so the other thing is uh, trash so it's uh, like a recycle bin so whatever you delete it will go into uh, the trash folder then we have files option so if I select the files option it will take you uh, to your uh, tablet to your uh, device where you have all the files and then you can upload those files for example if you have a PDF file or any other uh, an word file or notes file you can directly upload it here and then we have recent uh, uh, options over here so the recent files are over here that I uh, recently use or I recently open then we have the uh, favorites option so you select this favorites so it will show you your uh, favorite that you uh, select from here so you can see over here so these are my favorite folder it will show you over here or it you can also uh, make your favorites note as well so then on the downside the settings option so let me open the settings option so here you can see the document viewer option so this option the first option over here is about background document so you can select the vertical or horizontal then we have pop-up uh, document this I will show you later and then we have page view option so uh, this is a very cool thing for example in PDF file you have many uh, pages okay so you can uh, select the multi page view so here it will show you two pages then it will here show you four different pages in one window so let's go back and uh, here uh, if you see uh, it show you the list and grid option so you can see the screen mode so this is the list or a grid option and then this is the sort out menu option so let's uh, open a new note and uh, we will see what's inside so to create a new note just select this plus icon again and then you see there is option of new note so I will select this new note option so once you open this it will uh, show you over here the cover so which uh, cover you want to select for your notes there are so many options over here so you can see over here so there are a lot of options okay you can select any cover so for example I select this cover okay and then the second option over here is about template so let's select the template so guys template it is showing you these templates are available so you can see over here with uh, lines okay then we have different uh, study notes method uh, templates as well and then from here uh, you can select the color okay for example if you want black or this color or you want white color so for example I select this uh, white color okay and then you can give uh, the title to your note uh, for example I select uh, as a flexil okay and then I press done okay so you can see over here uh, the file or the note has been created over here so let me open it so guys when you open uh, the new note on the top it will show you all the tools okay that uh, you can use and on the downside you can see over here there are different uh, tabs are open so it will also show you the previous notes that you use recently for example I select this one so it is showing me the uh, recent note that I use this one as well and this one so if you want to uh, close them you can also cut them from here okay and then only work on the one that you recently created 
okay guys so the very first tool is the pen tool okay so this is the pen tool uh, so we have two different pens over here uh, this one is the normal pen this is uh, the pressure sensitivity pen and then we have highlighter over here so for example uh, if we select this first pen over here it gives you uh, thickness over here so you can see over here the thickness start from uh, 0.1 pixels to uh, 20 pixels okay so you can see over here there are different uh, pen thickness option so you can see this one okay guys and then uh, you can uh, make it a uh, full uh, thickness till here you can see over here so this is in the full form okay and then uh, if uh, you want to uh, use uh, this pen as a straight line if you want to create different straight line it also give you the straight line option over here so you can see this one straight line option so I enable it and then I can easily create any straight line so you can see so guys you can see over here so I can create any uh, straight line using this option so then uh, we have the uh, pressure sensitivity pen which is over here okay and then you can also change the thickness straight line option available as well and then there is a different colors as well so you can use different color for the pressure sensitivity pen so you can see over here the third option is about the highlighter so highlighter has a very cool option so I select the highlighter it gives you extra uh, 20 uh, thickness options as well so you can see over here I start from 0 and then uh, it will take you to the 40 pixels option so for example I make it till here and then you can change the ink opacity as well so for example I uh, take it to this level okay and then you can also use the straight line option uh, then we have different colors for example I select this uh, green color and then if I want to highlight I can highlight it so you can see over here okay guys so this is really a cool feature and then if you want to select the highlighters the highlighters are also uh, available over here the next tool is the eraser tool so you can see over here so if I select the eraser tool it also give me uh, the eraser uh, thickness up to 50 pixels so you can see over here and then I also uh, have the option of select the uh, uh, erasing the pen or erasing the highlighter for example I only want to erase the highlighter so I just uh, uh, turn off this pen option and then I just erase the highlighter and then I will show you okay I will change the thickness and then you can see it only erase uh, the highlighter this is really cool option if now I want to uh, erase the pen as well so I enable this pen option in the eraser and then I simply erase the pen as well so guys this is really really a uh, cool feature the next uh, tool uh, over here is the shape tool which is really important so for example first of all I select this pen and I will show you how to create different shapes so you can see over here I select the black color and then I select this thickness so now you can see over here it create different shapes okay this is really important in making uh, your notes okay so you can see over here so you can create different uh, shapes okay so uh, this is really helpful uh, the shape tool okay the next tool that we are talking about is the text tool so the text tool is really cool uh, so I select this text tool then it will ask you where you want to write your text so you, so you use your S pen okay and then for example I want to write my text over here so I select this area and then here I can write my text okay so this is really cool as well guys okay so uh, you can also uh, change you can also customize your um, uh, text you can change the size as well so the next option uh, over here is the insert image option so uh, you select this insert image you can select from a gallery from files or from photo for example I select the gallery option and then I select uh, let's say uh, this image okay and then it will ask you where you want to insert your image it is also cool so for example I select let's say this area so the image will come here you can crop it okay so for example 
if you want to crop you can also crop it you can change its position as well and also if you want you can change its size so this is a really a cool feature so the next feature is uh, the selection tool so selection tool is also really cool and so it um, uh, whatever you want to select uh, it gives you four different options if you want to select the uh, pen option you can enable it then highlighter option then image or then a text box option so for example I want to uh, enable this image option and then I select only this image okay so you can see over here I select this image now it will only uh, ch um, uh, change the location if I want to change the location it's only um, uh, select the image okay so for example uh, I select this I want to select this text so simply I turn off the image and then I select the text box okay and now I select this text box over here and now I can uh, change this text okay I can edit this as well so guys there is one more uh, very cool option which is called the gesture mode option also available so you see the very first option over here is like a pen option just select it it's called gesture mode I will select it and once you uh, select it uh, it will uh, use your pen and you can uh, do uh, different uh, options from your pen okay so for example if you want to er erase something just use this okay so use it like this and you can see over here uh, it erase uh, this area so guys if you want to remove uh, you want to hide this tool from the top you can also do it just simply uh, use these dots option just select it and just select one more time and then you can see over here it is uh, removed from the top it is hide so if you want to make it uh, you want to put it back so just simply use uh, this icon and then it will come back so on the uh, left side this is the page manager so I select it and I will show you okay so this is the page manager here you can add more pages use this plus okay so you can see over here you can create as many pages okay and then if uh, you want to um, uh, change the position of your notes you can also change for example I want to change the position of this note I can put it here as well okay so now you can see over here it comes to position number two you can also duplicate the page okay just select this page like this and then uh, there is a, a duplicate option as well you can see copy option uh, then we have duplicate option and then you can also uh, move this to other folder or to some other file you can also uh, delete it okay if you want to share uh, your uh, file you can select the whole pages or only one page it's up to you so for example if uh, you want to share it just select it okay for example I select it like this and then there is a share option so once you open the share option it is giving you two option one is flatten PDF and the other one is original PDF so guys the flatten uh, PDF uh, it's uh, you cannot edit it okay and in the original PDF you can edit it which is very useful because most of the time we have to edit our PDF file so once you convert into original PDF and if you open that PDF in some other uh, apps uh, you can edit uh, that PDF in the other apps as well this is really really cool and then we have options over here if you want to include the text box if you don't want to include the text box from your notes you can um, uh, disable it if you don't want to include the images you can also dis uh, disable it so for example if you want to only include handwriting and uh, page break background you can uh, only uh, use uh, this option and then it will only export that file uh, in the PDF format this is really really cool guys and it's really important if you are a student or even if you are a teacher it's really cool feature guys okay and then uh, for example uh, if you want to search something from your notes you just have to go over here and then you can search so it will only show you uh, the text uh, search it will not uh, show you whatever uh, you, uh, you use your S Pen to write down so maybe they will update it later then we have the uh, page navigation option over here on the right side you can see so there are page navigation options okay so there is a different um, uh, outline view then we have bookmarks and then we have annotation uh, view as well so you can uh, avail them as well uh, one of the uh, very cool feature about uh, this uh, note taking app uh, that I want to show you is the uh, undo and redo option so for example I write something here 
okay and then i use my two fingers if i want to undo it so i will show you so you can see over here now it is undo okay and if you want to redo it you use three fingers double tap on the screen with three fingers so you can see over here so this is really a cool feature that I didn't uh, found in uh, any other note taking app. There is one uh, more very cool um, option is uh, this one. So I will show you this is a pop up. Uh, this is a pop up uh, document. Uh, so you can see over here. Uh, so you use uh, two fingers to zoom it. And if you want to change the location, you can use three fingers. Okay. So this is the pop-up document view. So you can open the pop-up document if you want to take any notes. Guys, if I talk about the uh, syncing option, there is no syncing option. Only uh, there is a backup uh, option available. So I will show you. I will go back and show you in the settings. Okay, so I will open the settings. So uh, you can see over here, it is only showing you the uh, backup so you can back up uh, your notes and then uh, you can uh, restore them as well so overall um, uh, i would say uh, this app is really cool i use other apps note taking apps as well but this one is really amazing um, i think uh, this app will give a tough time to samsung notes in future uh, i will also make a video about the uh, comparison between these two apps so uh, this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much